Okay, we are doing a iPad 2 digitizer uh, glass replacement here today. Uh, that's model number A1395. If you look uh, on the back side of your iPad, uh, first thing is first, you can see this device is on. You're going to want to go ahead and turn it off. You don't ever want to leave your screen on or anything like that. You know, there are times where you just have no choice to leave your screen on, but if you have no choice, you have no choice. If you have a choice, turn your screen on. So, we're going to put the temperature on about 170. Um, put your heat gun up, you know, speed wise, uh, pretty much as fast as it can go. Um, I'd like to start personally in the bottom right uh, of the iPad. Um, you do have the Wi Fi cable down there, so you have to be wary of that, but this is the area that I like to start in. Uh, the top right, there's pretty much three trouble areas here. Um, this is not as much of a trouble area because this is the digitizer cable. Um, if you're replacing the glass, you're going to get rid of this anyway. So um, Down here, the Wi-Fi cable it actually is attached in the board. It goes down here, it connects in this area over here. Um, you do have to set, put your, uh, we use an iSesimo tool, you're going to have to put your tool in there and separate that because a lot of times it actually sticks to the bottom of uh, the glass here. Up top here, you actually have the power flex cable. Um, it's a couple different versions of that. There's two different versions, a 2012 version, and then uh, there's another, um, the older version. So if you if you do break this part, just make sure that you, when you look it up, make sure that you're buying the correct part. There are two PowerFlex cables here. All right, so you'll see. I'm just going to slowly start heating this up. This repair will take a little bit longer than normal, so just work with me. The screen, however, is not that correct, so it should be a good good thing. So I like just to keep this L shape going, as you can see. Just go up and down the sides. All I'm doing is making the adhesive just a little less tacky, so you can separate the screen without breaking into a hundred more pieces. I also do recommend gloves for this repair. A lot of the people here use gloves for every single repair. I don't always use gloves on every single repair, but on iPads, I most certainly do. When you touch the LCD, or if you do touch the LCD on accident with your hands, you're going to leave uh, a mark, most likely from grease or something in your hands, or a fingerprint. Um, at the same time, as soon as you try to put something down or wipe it down on the iPad, it's it loves, loves lint and everything like that, so it's really hard to get lint off there once you get it on there. So just be careful if you got gloves using. Right, so this is getting warmer. I'm going to start in the area soon. Some people like the rest of the part, but I just like to take my time. At the end of the day, it's going to make it much faster by heating this up pressure. Right in the area that I'm in right now, in this area, there is the Wi Fi cable. So we'll have to be careful with that. Just going around the edges, kind of loosening up the adhesive right around the edges.
can see that that area is kind of the adhesive has been separated on that portion. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving around to this side. You feel like it harder as the adhesive is not as warm. Okay. So I'm going to continue to work my way up. So get up into this area, there is a little chip that's right here. You just want to make sure whatever tool you're using, kind of push down on this. You want the blade that's underneath here, the side that's underneath here, to be actually up against the top of the glass. If you're pushing it down or the side is above the blade end, you're going to literally be pushing down against the chips here, and you're probably going to damage that PowerFlex cable. So let's see, I'm just going to keep going now, make sure this is all, so you can see it's coming up already. Let's see there you go. See I already got it coming. Okay, so now we're gonna go up here. Heat this up a little bit more. Again, take your time, don't rush this. It causes you more trouble in the end when you rush it. Just kind of putting it in there and then wedging it and twisting it to pop it a little bit. You can see it's slowly coming up. At the top here, you just want to make sure that your power flex did not stick to your screen. It looks like this one's sticking, so I'm actually going to put this in here. Take this and kind of push it down. So I've pretty much got this half right here, all the way down here to this half taken off. I haven't got this part off or this part. So now I'm going to kind of go down in this area, heat it up a little bit more. So I can't finish that side. And I am keeping my finger here under this, right there. On the iPad 2, there is no cable right here. This is just a block that sits and actually sits in, and the button uh, presses against two two posts. On the three and the or and on the four, you actually have a cable that goes in over here. So on the four, you actually have to worry about you know damaging that uh, the home button. So be careful on the four. Um, but on this version, you don't have to worry about it. So we can kind of get right up in here and dig this out. Ooh, see, 
but I tried not to have a spider out like that. But sometimes you can't think anything about it. So this corner is pretty much up. Now we're going to switch over here, finish the stop out. It's just coming up right in this area in the camera area. You want to make sure you don't go too far in. I just try to go right above it and just a little bit in and twist it and pop. We're almost there. Now that we got both edges pretty much all the way, I like to heat this back side up. We pretty much should just be able to open it right up. Coming slowly. There we go. All right. You can see this is open now. Take a blade. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Get this old screen out of the way. As you can see, all these edges are clean. This is all clean. This is the only spot that is not clean. So we just need to go down here and make sure that we get all this glass off that's down here. Warm it up a little bit again. The best thing to clean off your screen if you get any little bits of glass is going to be an air compressor if you have one. As soon as you start trying to blow with your mouth, um, you wind up with uh, some liquid spots in there from spit. So just be careful if you got a compressor, use an air compressor. Okay. So we've heated that area up. Let's see how much easier it just comes right out now. Put that aside. Okay. One thing I do like to do is I like to go all the way around the bezel, like I am right now. Just kind of get any other gook 
or glass that is in the way. If you have something here on the bezel, when you go try to stick your glass back down, especially with a piece of glass, it can cause it to crack because you're actually be trying to press down in a certain area. If the little piece of glass is actually underneath the new glass, um, anywhere around this bezel that's sitting in between on the metal or the plastic, it will can very easily cause a crack when you push down your new screen. So just be careful. Okay. So now next, you have four screws that you have to remove. You have to remove this so we can go in here and remove this digitizer and replace it with the new one. So you have four screws right around here on the edges that hold the LCD in. You can see right there. Two more. And one more. Now with the LCD, I like to take my SSMO and put it right here and just lift up the screen. Now you can see that the cable is attached here, LCD cable is attached from here into the board. We do need to move this or take this out of here. There are chips right here. You need to be very, very careful with this area. There's a little bar here and all you do just flip that bar up like so and then pull it out and remove there's also a little bit of adhesive strip right here so be careful just grab the LCD cable there put that to the side so now this is your digitizer cable cable that I cut earlier there's two uh, uh, I can't even remember what these things are called <laughs> And hey, what are these things called, Tito? Flaps. What are they called again? The flaps? Yeah. No, no, do you remember the name of them? The actual name? What is that called? I can't remember. I don't know. I have to cut it out, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so you lift up these flaps right here, the one, two right here, and uh, there's a little bit of adhesive on here, so we're going to pull that up, and then just kind of pull these out, so that's empty. I am now going to take my new screen. Our screens already come with adhesive on them, button installed, camera bracket installed, all these are important features to make sure your screen sits correctly. Um, so first thing we want to do is take this masking tape right here up and be careful and then I'm going to hold this side down and we'll pull the masking tape off that's the side okay so now I can take my new digitizer cable lay it right down in So I'll push both that in. You'll see the lines there on top, so you know they're good and even. Okay, so that's there. Okay. So now since this is back in, we can go ahead and put our LCD back in. Right, so I like to put, you also actually do want to push this down a little bit in this area. So this sits down underneath. So I'm going to hold this up. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and lay this back down in. Again, remember how we took this out. Actually, sometimes it's easier just to do it like this. Grab this LCD cable, pull it around. Push it in, take my finger, flip it over, push it down. Right. So 
now we're going to lay this back in, just like so. Push down each of these corners so that these are sitting flush into the areas where you originally pulled your screws from. And now we're going to start screwing this thing back in. We're here on the home stretch of this iPad to repair. Okay. Our screens do come with adhesive around the edge, so you will need to remove this. You can see the 3M adhesive that goes all the way around. There is another screen protector that is on this side. As you can see, let me find a good point to pull it up from. Right here. You can see that there is another screen protector right there. Also on this side, there is another screen protector. So there's one on each side. You can leave the one on the front, but you cannot leave this one on the back side. So. We're going to go ahead and pull these up first. Go ahead and get all this three M adhesive off. You do want to make sure your screen is clean here before you start doing this process, but our screen is pretty clean, so we'll give it one last blow before we close it. So I'm going to blow this off. Because I'm wearing gloves, I can actually touch the LCD and not really have any issue. Any kind of dirt that's in the way or buzz. You don't want to, you don't want to do this with glass. You scratch it. Okay. Right, so under here. So now it's time to close it. Make sure this is still stuck in. There's, there we go. I see this button is a little bit turned off, so we'll make sure we get that turned the right way. Okay, we're good there. Let's push back down there, good. Alright, it's time to close it. Make sure it's flush all the way around on all your edges. Do you like to apply a little bit more heat again around the edges? Put some pressure to them. Make sure they're nice and you want to make sure that the glue underneath gets nice and tacky again, like the original. And it'll, it will never be 100% like the original because they are done with a machine. However, this will be pretty close. Okay, go ahead and turn this thing on. Let's see if our repair was successful. Let's see, we're good to go. All right. Thank you so much. If you have any other repairs or requests, uh, just leave it down in the message uh, messages below. Thank you so much. Have a great day.